Hello friends, um, welcome to AB Astrology. I welcome you all. So today is Friday. Today is Avara of Lord Shukra. So today is a day for Lord Venus. And I was doing a series on um, remedies for each and every planet. Some of, some of you guys uh, uh, has requested me that uh, can you do the share the remedy uh, which you are doing in the remedy series for Venus and Mars. So I just thought it's a Venus day, so why not? So again, before we talk about Venus, we should know what Venus is. What are the significators of Venus? What it really denotes in our chart? So see, Lord Venus is Karka for love. Venus is Karka for um, spouse. Venus is Karka for uh, females, yes, uh, that too. Venus is Karka for conveniences, vehicles, luxury, pleasure. And see why am why this me, uh, video is so important, why this Graha is so important, why this planet is so important. Because 90% of the consultation, if when I do or when any other astrologer out there, he does, um, there are only 90% there are only two queries. One is related to career, another one is related to relationship. So I thought I uh, wanted to make a video on it because um, so that every one of you guys can take the full advantage of it and do the needful. So now we knew what are the significators and I'm again Lord Venus is responsible responsible for many other things but I have only saying only few important factors uh, for which he's uh, solely responsible um, so in order to correct that lot of people lot of people like us are suffering because of that so uh, remedies must and uh, what is that one practical karmic remedy which we can do uh, in order to have um, a good pleasure in life, good luxury in life. It does not mean that by doing this remedy, you have to do it only for one night. You, all the remedies which I share, which I have learned through this beautiful Mother Nature, through my teachers, through this cosmos, it, it has to be practiced for lifelong. It is not a one day remedy or a two day remedy. So these things you have to practice in life. And then only, and you have to give which I keep focusing on each and every video, the 100% intent is very important. In any relationship, either it's professional or either it's personal, your 100% pure intent, your loyalty towards that. And that's where people say that we love each other. They do, I'm not saying they don't, but 90% of them, they don't know the real uh, uh, the definition of pure love or unconditional love. So, uh, so what is uh, that one remedy which make and see again before uh, I come to the remedy part, let me tell you uh, with a few examples. See, one of my really good friend, um, actually his another friend, which is my friend too, and he was suffering through. A lot of uh, he was doing good and he belongs to a very good family back home he uh, uh, he, he was making good money and his salary is good got two kids wife is beautiful and everything but still he was not happy no marriage bliss again it depends upon many other factors in the natal chart but here we are only talking about the Lord Venus we are talking only about the planet Venus we are only talking about the uh, goddess Lakshmi here who's the wife of uh, Lord Vishnu. So he asked me, Aman, that uh, everything is good, um, making good money, this and that, but huge marriage, uh, uh, huge problem going on. And as soon as he said that, uh, I said, okay, let me predict. It's not career related, it has to be marriage related. And he was like, uh, how you predicted that? I was like, it's very simple. Because 90% of the people these days are only suffering through two or three main major problems either career either relationship issues third is the health so um, when uh, he said that i said uh, 
as it is a Kritika day too as well. I said uh, I'm, I'll be very blunt and uh, so please, I hope you don't mind. Even if you mind, I cannot help it because I'm going to tell you the bitter truth, which is that uh, you're going to remain like this. Uh, and he was like, whoa, 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 what are you saying? Why are you saying something like that? Um, I said, because, because just in front of me, how you were disrespecting your own wife. And if you can do it in front of me, I'm, I'm guessing you have the habit of doing that uh, behind my back or behind anyone's back in your house in front of her all the time. But um, uh, let me tell you, he was honest. He said, yes, uh, that's one of the uh, weaknesses I can say or one of the um, things I, I'm lacking big time in my life. And yes, um, it's, it's very much true that I don't give her... Uh, respect, I criticize her a lot, this and that. So I was like, see, the remedy is very simple. If you, see, it's, it's just like asking for money from Lord Vishnu, but disrespecting his wife, Mata Lakshmi. We all want Lakshmi. We all want Goddess Lakshmi into our home, into our monetary values. But it's just like asking for that, but disrespecting Mata Lakshmi. So how you will get the Lakshmi, how you will get the all the sukhs, or uh, all the pleasures which we have uh, um, uh, discussed earlier in the video. So, so I, I told him, uh, uh, don't expect me to tell you that wear this, do that. Yes, all those activities uh, uh, or uh, the remedies uh, might work and they do work. But before that, you should give her the full respect. You should give her the full unconditional love. And even... Um, I have seen many friends um, and everybody does mistake in their life. It's not like I'm saying I am the, uh, uh, um, the very good uh, pure form of that. I have also done mistakes in my life. We, have, we all have done mistakes in our past. But see, that's, uh, that's the lesson. We should learn from it and we should not repeat it, right? So I told him I have uh, and I have seen it in, uh, in my friend circle as well that... Uh, Especially in our community, I have seen it big time that uh, they have the habit of uh, taunting or um, disrespecting the woman for no reason. And uh, even if they are, especially the teenagers or the youngsters, and again, I'm not against anyone. I have seen it in even in the uh, elder people as well, that the women are walking around and, um, and they just start... Uh, pointing to them and uh, disrespecting them, this and that. And later they go to the astrologers, pay them $200, $300 a, a per consultation and ask for the uh, remedy uh, for the same reason. See, the remedy is very simple. Don't respect them just like that. It's just that um, uh, you, are, you think that you are superior form or uh, you have uh, good money or you have the good status. You can just disrespect the woman like that. Absolutely, it, it will not work like that. And it doesn't work like that. So start respecting women. And don't forget, especially for all those people, again, I'm not pointing specific people here, especially those people um, who think that they are superior from everyone and they uh, have the eligibility or the capacity to do that to a woman. Don't forget, you came from a woman. Even your mother is a woman. So you have no right to do that. And please don't do that. It's a humble request. And when you start giving the unconditional love, we should be doing that to everyone, not only solely for the woman. It should be given to each and every one, regardless of their status in their life. So when we do that, things change. When we do that, Lord Shukra gets happy. When we do that, Lord Vishnu gets happy. And... Uh, when we are being loyal to our relationship with everyone. It's not here, yes, here we are only talking about the woman, but when we do that with everyone, things change. Because when the cosmos, when the mother nature sees that this particular person uh, uh, is uh, changing its bad habits and getting, doing the good deeds in its life and especially respecting the Ardhangani or the uh, we call it uh, the Ardhangani is the Hindi word for the wife uh, the spouse in our life and he's giving 
uh, her the full respect regardless see here some people going to say that uh, yes i do agree that everyone has arguments in their life i also do everyone does and uh, it's not all the uh, same it's just like the moon we have the waxing and waning side of the if moon has the waxing and waning side in even in in our life we have the same side some days are good some days are bad that's part of life and that's where the real test start it's not that we have only give, uh, we are done with the 12th ex, uh, standard examination or with our colleges or with our mba degrees and uh, uh, the we don't have to go through the test again the real test starts when you get into the relationship that's the way the real uh, now someone going to say is that i'm not married so the same remedies go for you uh, goes for you you must be having a girlfriend then or you must be having a common law partner even if you don't have that if you are totally single we do have women in our society so so do respect it's it's a very simple basic practical logical thing i'm telling you guys it's not that uh, more logics are needed regardless of whatever kind of relationship you have with your spouse with your common law with your um, uh, uh with your girlfriend that's the another issue if you have some issues take some counseling try to bring the balance back that's the another uh, chapter another lesson uh, uh or another video we can talk about that but here we are only talking regardless of any situation you are in don't give your uh, yourself a lame excuse that just like that or just for the heck of it you can uh, just disrespect women when we do that trust me guys uh we are no matter what if we have the dik bala lord venus or if we have a strong venus in our chart uh, or exalted venus we can say we are actually destroying our venus and when we are destroying or when we are making our venus weak by doing all those things it's all it's not only the marriage bliss it's going to affect us it's going to affect us everywhere in the luxury in the pleasure in the comforts you name it whatever the venus uh, denotes that's where um, uh, it's going to reflect that so again it's 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 very simple uh, not rocket science i'm talking about here so please 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 uh, respect everyone first especially respect women respect what uh, whatever your circumstances are don't say uh, ill things bad things or don't taunt your wife your spouse again your common law or your girlfriend or whatever you uh, in in a form of lord venus you are dealing with don't be disrespectful don't say bad things because when we are angry yes we get angry at times and uh, we get frustrated it's 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 a human tendency we uh, i totally uh, resonate with you on that but it does not give us the ability or the capacity or the eligibility to just say anything for which we regret later in life because those things have the vibrations and and those vibration affects our natal chart and it affects the lord venus into our chart so give unconditional love to all the women out there they deserve all the respect same with all the men as well now the some uh, uh, men um, subscribers going to say that what about men women are doing this that see here i am not being partial or biased but here we are only talking about the lord venus today and lord venus in our chart just like i mentioned uh, do, uh, denotes spouse or the girlfriend or the uh, common law whatever they have so respect them be reasonable to everyone yes if you get um, frustrated or if you get angry try not to say things for which you have to regret later in life because when we say uh, because i have i see it all the time especially in our community big time and in other communities as well um, i'm not after one community here uh they say such a terrible uh, horrible things uh, just because they are women and uh, they think that they have uh, right to say those things so it's it's not healthy it's not good it's not good for your chart 
astrologically speaking this is the video for everyone those who follow astrology they can relate to me very well those who don't follow astrology that's the message for each and every one so and also see venus is the karka of love just like i mentioned so give your unconditional love regardless of 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 anything because that's where our real test starts from the lord vishnu and uh, so i think the message was very simple very clear and um, some of you might find it bit harsh so um, please i do apologize if you feel that way it's a kritika nakshatra see how the nakshatra energy plays out so well um uh, so if those who find it bit uh, harsh or um, or critical message so i do apologize for that but my message was very simple i humbly request each and every one of you guys that uh, even for the females they must be having a lot of female friends so just be respectful to each and every one first and especially to the women because uh, um, we all deserve respect no matter what yes there are uh, ups and downs there are dark sides of each and every uh, person this and that regardless of anything we are not talking about that all i'm saying is give your full respect to your wife give your full respect loyalty with your 100% pure intent we say it that we love our wife but trust me do you really when you say that do you really follow that do you really initiate that just think about it so hopefully you like this message if you do please share it to each and every one out there especially to those ones those you think that they they have everything in their life but they are uh, lacking lot of um, turbulence in their marriage life and and you have seen them closely it is because of them that they, uh, that they have a very um, disrespecting relationship to each other please don't do that because by doing that even if our venus is in in revati nakshatra of it's, it's exalted we are just spoiling it and if it's combust if it's afflicted blah 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 uh, astrologically it's a whole different uh, another analysis we are not talking about that so message is very simple so um, please spare the word spread the word spare few minutes of yours to spread the message if you like it if you don't then also i thank you um, uh, two times as i always say is because uh, um, giving your precious time to to someone is the it's the another one of the big deals we can do for others so thank you for giving your time Uh, by watching uh, these videos these messages i hope to make more uh, videos on nakshatras uh, and on another planets maybe next time we can talk about the remedy we can uh, which we can do for planet mars uh, so that we can do some later time uh, on another day so i thank you guys again and uh, see you guys again some other time bye see you